What's up guys, this is Caleb. Uh, just gonna try to help you out. This is a 2020 um, Giant Trance uh, 2, I'm guessing. It's the one that comes without the dropper post. Um, buddy of mine's bike, gonna put a transfer dropper on it post for him. Not a transfer, sorry, a trans exfusion. Exfusion, that's it. Uh, so going to put that on there for him today. Um, gonna show you a trick on the cable routing stuff. Um, I do not have the kit, um, but I did figure out a way uh, to get this around there. So this bike is kind of tricky because it doesn't have, it's not a carbon bike, it's an aluminum frame. Um, and then you've got to get the internal cable routing done around the bottom bracket, uh, which can be pretty tricky. So, uh, but fortunately I did find a way, I've looked on Reddit, um, there was a string, you can run a string in a vacuum or whatever, but um, I've done this a couple times. Uh, it's really pretty easy. Um, and it takes a little bit of patience, but um, with the right stuff, you can get it done. All right, so I'm doing this. It's a rainy day. I'm off work. Um, so if you can hear the rain, sorry. Texas winters. It's either 70 degrees, five inches of snow, which is rare, or it's just raining all the time. So good time to put a dropper post on a bike. So um, I've got the cable. As you can see, it's already ran through. Uh, I'm going to yank it out real quick and uh, probably regret it, um, but try to put it back in and uh, see what happens, so. All right, she's out. So what I've found is you want to get a plastic cable in. So when you're trying to force this through the frame, uh, the little burrs um, on the cable can snag on the frame, make it a difficult time. So just put your plastic cap on there, make sure it's pressed on there really good. Um, and then kind of, uh, it'll kind of help it slide a little bit too. So uh, what you want to do on the Giant, it's going to look crazy, but um, it's almost like a helicopter approach. But So we're going to slide the housing um, down into there and you'll feel a, a, a very significant stop so that's the that's it, the cable hitting on the bottom bracket so what i did there's actually a little channel down in there that will let you get past it but you kind of have to weave it a little bit so um, hold on to it and just kind of apply a slight down pressure to it and kind of twist the cable over your head and you'll feel it drop of course it did this way easy the first time so it's going to be difficult this time to try to show you There it is. Okay, so you may have to pick it up and then reset it and spin it, but you'll feel it slide down in there. So from this point, give it a little bit of pressure and then continue to turn it a little bit and then you'll you'll feel it slide. Okay. I've already got my grommet off right here. Um, you can order the ones with a hole in it. It's rubber. Um, so if you got a decent drill bit set, just start off really small at an angle. Uh, start off really small. I would recommend doing it off your bike. You don't want to scratch your frame. So uh, take the grommet out, grommet out, run a drill bit through it. Um, don't forget to put that back on the hose before you button everything up. So I'm shooting this all in one take. So if I skip around a little bit, sorry, I literally have a tape measure holding my phone on the bed of my truck. Uh, so from here... I'm gonna use this uh, <laughs> custom bent uh, flathead screwdriver to kind of fish the deal out. And I'll pull it up and kind of pull the phone in here in a second and kind of show you what's up, so. All right guys, having a really hard time getting this to focus, but you can see the cable in the top of the frame. So I'm just gonna use my, my screwdriver here and a flashlight to kind of fish this out of the frame. Uh, just be really careful, once again, not to scratch your frame, but a uh, really cheap just screwdriver. I kind of bent it a 90. It's not my first one to add a drop or two, so I've used this uh, little handy tool several times, but um, I'll kind of give you an update once we get it done. All right, so this is what I was talking about. Just kind of fish it out, and then you can, with that screwdriver, just kind of pull a little bit. Um, I'll show you how, how I'll set this back down, rehook it, and then show you kind of how to push through, but... Once you're here, 
uh, just push on the seat tube on the cable on the housing coming out of the seat tube just push on that and it should slide right by and we are routed through the frame so uh, should be a pretty easy little process i'm going to set my phone back up on the back of my truck on a tape measure and uh, push this through and show you guys how to do it so be right back all right so you're back on my truck um cable's still coming out here i was able to kind of wedge it out a little bit so i didn't have to fish for it again but um so i'm going to kind of all you're going to do is just get your screwdriver or whatever you're using to hook it with and kind of pull out just a touch be careful don't pry don't pry against your frame and then push with the cable bam there she is so um there's plenty of videos out there showing you how to hook up a dropper pose and how to hook up a lever but the whole sole uh, intention of this video was to just show you how to route uh, the cable through the giant frame. Um, I think this will work for the 20, I don't think it's the 2019s. I could be wrong on that. I think those are still, um, I don't know. Anyway, so, so for sure it works for the 20s and the 21s. Um, the Stance 2, I believe it is, the one without the dropper post. I'm not a big uh, giant guy, so um, I don't know the details as well. Uh, I usually ride Specialized or I've got a new bike coming. It's not a Specialized. I love my Specialized, but I uh, went a little different this time. So um, follow me on Instagram uh, at Caleb Jones 32 uh, I'm on there. I'm always traveling, always riding bikes, hanging out with friends, uh, whatever. You know, I'll post coffee to bikes to travel to whatever. So um, yeah. First video on YouTube trying to show it how to. Only reason why I made it is because I couldn't find one out there. So hopefully this helps and I uh, hope you guys have a great day. All right, guys, I was gonna drop out, but I uh, remember um, you cannot post a dropper post video without showing the final product. So uh, post is in there. This is an XL frame. That is a 150 dropper. Um, my buddy, saddle measurement uh, to get it where he needs it is going to be slammed so that'll be cool for him uh, get that saddle all the way out of the way but got our cables done all nice and neat zip tied up you cannot leave a buddy if you're working on this bike you can't leave a buddy with uh messy cables so make sure you keep them clean fellas so here we go final product bam there we go rocking and rolling guys